Welcome to this video walkthrough of our 2014 Atlas Everglade. It's a 36 by 12 three bed. It's got double glazing and gas central heating. Going to give you a look around, show the layout and the condition. And so let's get on. Join me here looking at the living area where we find our fitted seating area, which goes along the front under the window, as you can see, and then down the door side slightly towards our kitchen. We have a gas radiator there on the left hand side. Upholstery is all good, there's nothing wrong with it, no bad stains or rips or anything like that. There's also a fitted dining area which has got a nice shape to it actually, slightly more seating and space than a standard dining area often has. But as you can see it's got the um, sort of well, sort of semicircle area really with, with a couple of stools. Carpet in here, just a couple of flies on it but there's nothing wrong with the carpet. No bad stains or rips again, as I said about the upholstery. Good window space, as I say, on the left-hand side here, over the seating, and then across the front, over the seating. And then turning to our right-hand side, then we've got our gas fire area with mirror over the top, and then some storage below, floating shelves, and then a bit of storage for TV and um, a couple of bits and pieces below. I stand here at the front of the caravan. Just look back up the unit, you can see the open plan layout as is often the case these days with the modern static caravans. Coming up towards the kitchen, we've got this carpet in the living room area. That changes then to vinyl. As you can see, that goes all the way through to the bedrooms at the back. We've got one exterior door which comes into that entrance area and then into the kitchen on that vinyl. Good sized kitchen, so sort of galley style kitchen in a way, uh, but it's a good size. As you can see, we've got these sort of whitey creamy colored units with those um, soft chrome handles with the ledge or lip on the bottom end there. Good size cupboards and good space. We've got a microwave shelf there, and then we've got a space below for a fridge, freestanding fridge to go if you want to. Or you could take a bit of the worktop out and fit a larger fridge and freezer if you wanted to do that. Opposite the sink on my right hand side, there we've got our gas oven. Extractor hood over the top looks like a recirculating one, I think, judging by the unit above it. But that is our gas oven hob and grill. Here by our exterior door, we've got the cupboard here, which is just our central heating boiler, some Morco FEB24ED, and then we've got a bit of clothes uh, or sort of coat hanging storage and a bit of an area to put your, your shoes and things at the bottom of there, which is handy to have. Coming down the caravan through the hallway area to the back of the caravan, we'll find our main bedroom. So that is on the rear left-hand side to so the rear offside corner, where we find we've got storage over the bed. Got that different colored wallpaper, which is a bit of a feature wall in here, which I think looks quite nice window there on the offside, radiator below it and then we've got a good size wardrobe unit there and mirror and little sort of vanity table sort of area there just for your perfumes and a few bits and pieces to go on the side there. So a bit of a mark on the carpet here, I'm not sure if that will clean out or whether that's sort of um, marked on. Looks like it might just be sort of a more so like a little burn mark or something. It doesn't really affect things too much, but it is there, so just highlighting that for you. Turn to the right-hand side here of the main bedroom, then got our, one of our twin rooms. Same feature wall there at the, on the back, as you can see. Two single beds. Got storage over the top of the beds. And then turning to my right-hand side, we've then got a wardrobe unit, which goes from the floor almost to the ceiling, sort of around 6 to 10 inches off the top there. And a little radiator, as you'd expect with it being a gas central heated caravan. Coming out of there and turning to our right hand side here, just to show you that layout. So main bedroom, rear left hand side, one of the twin rooms then on the right there next to it. And then on my left here is the other twin room. Usually this twin room is a little bit bigger than the one next to the main bedroom. And as you can see, it does look like it's slightly wider beds. Still got that feature wall there at the head end of the bed as there's the uh, other two. And then we've got the same style wardrobe unit there that goes from the floor almost to the ceiling and the mirror and then another radiator. Same carpet in there in the twin rooms as in the living room and the main bedroom and as I said on the whole not much wrong with it and certainly doesn't require changing if you would like to keep it. Down here by all of the bedrooms is then a toilet room so we've got a sink on the left hand side and toilet on the right. Fairly self-explanatory. We have got vinyl in there and that is the same vinyl that runs in from there through up the hallway into the kitchen. It also runs into the bathroom which is on my right hand side here as you can see really good sized bathroom so we've got three bedrooms then we've got two toilet rooms and then this one shower good sized bathroom on my left hand side as you can see we have the shower enclosure that slides back i think it's missing a clip for the door to keep the doors together but that is slides back to the right hand side and then that does present quite a large wide opening which is always handy to see and it's quite a big cubicle actually quite a deep one as you can see in there that's the bathroom then so radiator as well 
All of the rooms have got radiators as it's got gas entry heating in this caravan. Back to our kitchen. So that's been the inside of the Everglade. I'm going to jump outside and I will show you around the exterior. Outside the Everglade, as you can see, we've got the standard looking uh, caravan exterior panels, but then we do have the black graphite um, double glazing, which I always think just makes it look really smart. I always think the, the black double glazing makes them look quite premium. And there's a nice upgrade on the standard white windows. We've also got down pipes there fitted into the guttering. They are the standard cream like the uh, panels are, but then we do have the black gutters along the top there ties in with the windows around the back there just got a couple of scuffs to the panel but nothing much and then looking at the door side here fairly tidy there's just a couple of lumps and bumps down the bottom here by the door we've just got a couple of rods that need to taken off they've just been where the old steps have been bolted on that they do on site just a couple of marks around the door as you can see this needs touching up Looking underneath at the chassis, it's a standard painted chassis which I think has been a little bit coastal um, so you can see there is a bit of surface rust on the metal but it all looks solid, there's no um, areas that have been eaten through or anything like that this needs a, uh, if you wanted to you could always wax oil it or um, paint it with grease or something like that just to preserve it a little bit more but um, it's a solid chassis just has got that surface rust on there just looking on the front there is a little bit of a dent if you can make it out there because it's the aluminium it does, does obviously dent a little bit as you can see just a bit of a dent there on the front so what's that been well that has been our 2014 at the Severglade it's a 36 by 12 three bed you can see it's got that nice angled bay window on the front there giving us a bit of character and a bit more space inside got double glazing gas entry eating it's priced at 16975 if you've got any questions at all about what we do here please do get in touch visit the website look on another video give us a call send us an email but hopefully until next time check us out see you again cheers